then dress code if you make it what they will expect you how they will expect you to dress they expect you if you're a female you dress like this if you're a male you I know you're scared, you wanna hide away sometimes I know you heard from everyone telling you lies I bet you just wanna lose Hi guys, so I have decided to apply for an Emirates cabin crew job Like I have already before in the past So today is uh, 26 April 2023 I'm putting this on record um yeah so yesterday i was on instagram viewing stories and then i happened to come across one of um my friends whom i once met when we were we went for an open day for an a arabia um a arabia kevin crew job so that's how we met so we both didn't get the job and she ended up going back to her home country in philippines so i i uh, have been like we've been friends on instagram still we've been following each other on instagram so last year she, she got a big break and she got um cabin crew job in Qatar. anyway so yesterday i was happened to watching stories and then i saw her story she's like in usa and then something just came to me and i was like um let me check if emirates is hiring right now emirates is always hiring every month depending on which part of the world that you are at so i decided that okay let me check their website i happened to go on their website and guess what i found out that they are actually coming to pretoria on the 14th of may and today is 26 april and i'm like okay yeah is it yeah 26 april 14th of may they're coming to um they're coming to pretoria so i'm like okay and they're like it's by strictly by invite only so you have to apply once you finish applying if you make it they will call you for an interview if you don't make it they're not going to call you for an interview i think they will send you an email of regret so i was like okay i need to apply so i'm just gonna show you on the website the dates and all that and i'm going to show you uh what is going to be needed and required of me when i'm actually applying for this job so yeah so this is how you are going to get started with this you will go to emirates group uh emirates group emirates group carrier i hope you guys can see properly let me just that's it emirates group carrier then you select search i think i selected it the wrong way okay there it is yeah okay i selected it the wrong way i'm just gonna okay emirates group Carrier here, this one I'm going to select here. There you go. So you come here on www.emirates, the first one www.emirates.carriers group. Here, you are going to select this one. So it is going to bring you here. Accept straight here to their website and it will show you all the offers that they have so here they have um um okay i'm just gonna scroll down 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 that's really here these are the kind of jobs that they have here i'm going to select here on cabin crew i'll select here I'm going to select here on cabin crew. So here it says apply, right? So I'll go down. Just check everything. It has upcoming recruitment. You can apply from any time of the during the year, but if they actually have uh, ongoing recruitment, that's a benefit. So here it's already showing the location South Africa here because i'm in south africa so here are the dates they have in deben 1 may 9 a.m port elizabeth 3 may 9 a.m 14 may 9 a.m in pretoria which is nearby where i stay so i'll have to apply here under pretoria and it says um it says here 
or open day then it's not an open day so you don't just show up but here it says invite only so meaning you have to apply after applying if you make it they invite you so and here it's it's talking about um the dress code recruitment event dress code if you make it what they will expect you how they'll expect you to dress they expect you if you're a female you dress like this if you're a male you dress like this so here this is how they'll expect you to dress so yeah these are other steps of uh their recruitment steps induction uh duration of eight days duration whatever all these things right i'm not gonna read all this because i'm focusing here on apply so i'm gonna click here on apply i still have my login details from before so it is going to ask me if i want to log in or i want to be a new user so here these are my login details from before i'm just gonna say login i don't know if it still has the correct password let me say login and see because i have visited the site before i have applied before so yeah here yeah, i'm i'm signed in it says simon sanangra you're signed in so um these are my personal details that i've used before i if you can see here it says united arab because i've applied when i was in united arab and all this so i have to change all these details because now i'm in south africa so yep um yeah so it is going to require me all these things right i'm going to have to apply but here's the thing how are they, they are going to need photos and documents from me um you see so i am going to go through these um these details i'm going to apply here and then afterwards i have to apply photos i don't know if they still have the same criteria when it comes to photos the way when i applied before but what i know is with photos they usually want um they usually want your photos to be, I think, six months old. Anything older than that, they do not accept. So before, I'm just going to show you the pictures that I used to apply before when I applied. Mind you, I've applied for this job two times and I've been called for an interview both times. So meaning my application was working, like my CV, the CV that I used before in my pictures, they worked. So I'm just going to follow the same criteria, but now I'm going to have to go and do uh here are my pictures here cabin crew pictures i'm gonna have to go and do brand new pictures since this i did them a long time ago so this is my full length formal picture the one that i used i'm just gonna open it for you guys so you can see it i need to hurry up because my baby is crying now <laughs> and it's so slow let me go and get my baby okay this is my full length formal picture this is uh yeah this is the full length formal picture they need this and this is my half picture passport photo size they need this with full makeup on and then they need a full casual picture black t-shirt jeans and uh heels like this and also they need a half casual so these are old pictures i took these ones way before the pandemic when i applied so i'm gonna have to go and do new pictures but i need to go back on their website to check if they still have the same criteria when it comes to the pictures and then so i'm gonna add my personal details and then when it takes me through to the pictures i'm going to check the criteria first so that before i go and make pictures i know what i'm supposed to be making so i have to do this as soon as possible because i need to apply and hopefully be called on the 14th of may so yeah guys i'm just gonna bring you guys along to my journey of applying so just stay tuned hi guys so today i'm going to do um, my kevin crow pictures so yeah come along with me guys Let's go. Oh, 
Okay, so now that I am logged in, Simon Sanangura, you are signed in. This is my account. So applying for cabin crew opportunities here. Yeah. Um, okay, so these are my previous documents that I added before when I was applying. So I have to delete. Like as my passport, I think my passport is new now. I have a passport. So I need to delete this. I uploaded this in uh oh, I uploaded this on the tenth of September two thousand and nineteen. This was a long time ago. So I'm just gonna delete this. Are you sure? Yes. So here I have uh, my metric certificate. Okay, metric certificate is the same anyway. I uploaded this on the 24th of April 2020. So I'm no need for me to delete this. It's the same. My Emirates cabin crew CV, CV this was 23 of, of April 2020. It's, it's, I now have an updated CV, so I'm going to delete this. Yes. And then I has have my Emirates cover letter, which was also twenty three April twenty twenty. I'm going to delete this as well. Yes. Uh, my passport photo, this was also in 2020, I'm deleting because I have new ones that I'm going to upload. Yes. Then, what else? Then we have my full-length formal in 2020 as well, I'm deleting this. Yes.
I have my full casual delete. My half casual delete as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach to complete. It says here to complete your application. Please ensure that you attach a recent CV in English and a photograph. So I'm going to choose file. Let me go to my documents here. Yes, these are my documents. This is my Emirates Cabin Crew CV 2023. Then I will upload this. Then I have to write here my CV. Just to keep it simple. Attach. So here said to complete your application, make sure that you attach a recent CV in English and the photographs. Select the file to attach. Here I'm going to attach my photograph. So I'm going to go to my pictures. And I have my cabin crew pics here. So the ones that I took today, this is the full formal. I'm going to attach this one. Just going to write here, full length, formal, okay, let me say full length picture, okay, let me say formal in case I have to add the casual as well. Done. Attach. Okay. So let me see. Um. Okay. They're giving me. I have, I can attach other things as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach my passport photo picture here, which is. This one, where is it? I have this one, passport size photo in here, the one that I used today. Passport, okay. Then I'm going to attach okay so next up i'm going to put my cover letter a cover letter is not mandatory but you can put it if you want so this is mine where is mine yeah my emirates cover letter 2023 here so let me put here my cover letter then attach okay so i have attached this is my relevant files okay my metric let me take it so I've attached my, mm, okay, I've attached my matrix certificate is already there. I have my Emirates cover letter. I have my Emirates cabin crew CV. I have my full form of picture, my passport size photo. I think let me attach also my uh, passport, valid passport, just in case 
I'm just going to upload it in case I have it in my document. So let's check it here. If it's saved, I don't know what I saved it as. Okay, here, yeah, passport new, I think. Yeah, it's this one. Passport. Okay. Passport copy. Attach. This one is, you can either attach your ID copy or passport copy. So for me, I attach my passport copy. I'm just attaching it anyway. But here they wanted, like as you can say, say to complete your application, please ensure that you attach a recent CV in English and a photograph. These are the two things that you have to make sure you're attaching. So even if you don't attach the other things that I've attached, it's okay. But for me, I'm just going to attach it. So these are my documents that I've attached so far. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to say save and continue so i'm on the i think last stage no i'm not i'm I'm on the declaration where is i say here declaration so i'm going to see it says mandatory fields are marked with an asterisk so it says e signature please read and read the following statement carefully then acknowledge that you have read and approved it by the by it by providing the information requested at the bottom of the page please note that an e signature is the electronic equivalent of a handwritten signature okay so let's see meaning i have to read this all this i have to read all this all this okay it's not much Okay, this says here, I hereby certify that the statements and information I have given in this application are true and correct to the best of my knowledge. Uh, my no to the best of where am I? knowledge and belief. I understand that any false declaration, misrepresented of, or misleading statements or any any significant omission may result in my failure to receive an offer have and any offer withdrawn or render me liable to dismiss or if i'm offered employment for expatriate applicants only a full medical exam conducted in the uae is required for work or residence permits in accordance with federal law a okay, resident visa application will be declined and deportation will result for expected testing positive for HIV, tuberculosis, leprosy, or hepatitis B, surface antigen, we therefore recommend that you and your dependents are medically tested for a physic for a history of this disease prior to arrival in the UAE. Okay, I've said in UAE before, and I know this applies. So yeah, I understand this. So do not sign until you have read the above statement. I've read. By my e signature below, I certify that I have read fully, understand, and accept all terms of the foregoing statement. Please signify your acceptance by entering the information requested in the fields below. Okay, so I have to enter my email address and then I have to enter your full name here. Let me see. Uh, So I'm just going to e-sign this and then I'll come back. Okay, guys, so I am done with the e-signature. Now what I'm going to do, this is the last stage which says uh, review and submit. The following information will be submitted after I click the submit button. Where an edit link is displayed, you can modify the corresponding information. So these are my personal information, so I'm not going to show you guys. I'm just going to reveal everything, and then after I submit my application. Yeah, guys, so that's it. Hey, I just finished applying, and so what do I do now? Now we, eh, no, now we wait, I mean. So today's the 28th of uh, April, and like i showed you guys they had they are holding 
in they are holding interviews on the 14th of may which is strictly by invitation so now i wait uh normally they will send an email if i have uh, made it or not so yeah i've always received emails from them whether i have made it or not so i'm just going to wait maybe within few days they are going to send me an email hey guys so i decided to come back with a feedback of how my application with emirates cabin crew went so just like i had promised you guys that i'm just gonna i will come back with the feedback and let you know if i got a response from them i got the job or not or not even i got the job or not i got in code for an interview or not so this is what happened today is actually the um today's the 18th of july and i know i'm late with my response like i'm late with my update i've been dreading doing this video i don't know why but it happens sometimes it happens most of the times actually that i don't really feel like sitting down and doing a sit down video but i've kept the clips um from the previous video and i know they're gonna be helpful for some people who are trying to apply because i've seen questions online people ask like like on other social media pl pl platforms people always ask how do you apply for a job like how do you apply for the emirates cabin crew so that is why i decided to share with you guys if this video might be helpful to someone so this is what happened um uh, like you guys already saw when i finished apply applying on the 28th of april immediately they sent you they sent you an automated uh respond which t says uh you you've applied and this tell you the process of what is going to happen and all that so i got that email then on the 17th of may i got a regret email which stated of course that i didn't get a code like i didn't my application did not make it to the next stage and yeah i got a regret email i do not know why this time around because like i said this is the same cv that i've used from time to time i've only edited edited like my work experience because when i applied for an emirates job in 2020 i had um from then up to now i have had other jobs so i had only edited my work experience only so yeah that is it is what it is i don't know maybe it's because of um the because of the location i don't know but that should not be the case because they were coming i did receive an email on the 17th of may but they were having interviews on the 10th of may so when i saw that they didn't call me and the 10th passed i already knew that i didn't make it through but for courtesy i guess they sent me an email on the 17th uh telling me that they regret to inform me that my application did not make it through this time around and like um i could do a sit down video and share my experience because i've been called for an interview by emirates before if you guys are interested you just have to let me down in the comments below uh if i should do a story time of how it went because i've been called I've, I've attended emirates interview twice in my life emirates cabin crew interview twice in my life the first time i went physically they called me for a physical interview the second time around they called me for an high view interview i did an online interview it wasn't physical and now the third time around they didn't even call me for an interview i don't know if i want to keep on trying i would love to keep on trying but i know like okay i'm telling because now because i got a reg regret on the in may i have to wait six months again to apply so now uh there's so many factors around that i have to consider if i'm going to try again in november i'm actually turning 29 this year 30 this year so i do not know if i would want like if i do apply like if i still have it in me that i want to apply for the cabin crew job if i still have it in me that at my age now i want to be like uh traveling around the world like i do want to travel of course is isn't like being a cabin crew because the job as they say it takes a toll on you it is not like um easier as we it might seem also being the fact that now i am like a mom of two and would i want to constantly be away from my kids i don't know but the money is good and the the what 
the the pics are good as well so i don't know but maybe i'm going to try again because i promised myself when i was in dubai actually i promised myself that i'll keep on trying for this job for as long as i'm still in dubai now i'm not in dubai in south africa and they do come to south africa they go to zimbabwe they go to other african countries for interviews so um do i still want to do it do i still want to try i don't know i don't know honestly i don't know if i still i still want to try but i would love to travel the world like i would it would be a dream of mine to like i used that job used to be like my dream 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 job but anyway i don't know so i hope you guys found this video helpful and yeah if you have any other questions about uh emirates cabin crew application process and all that do let me down in the comment section below guys i am more than free to answer your questions and yeah side note actually i think i'm kind of like um grateful that i even got an email like response from them because a lot of people that i've come across told me that they've never even gotten any response from emirates before so there must be a reason why i keep on getting like um, a respond from them whether it's positive or negative there must be a reason so yeah i know you're scared